Shalom and good day all, this is the Helium 29 back again and this time I'm here to talk about the Gotham War which DC Comics has decided to, well, do another event of and with this event that they have in mind yes, this is a war between so-called lovers within the DC Universe for this to work it's going to be taking place after the Night Terrors event, which comes off as completely lame in a lot of ways. And it really, really needs some new direction. So what if DC, instead of doing a war in Gotham, how, they, how about they do a war with actual... DC war heroes and mercenaries say for example how about a war between I don't know Deathstroke because he is also considered a type of mercenary it's one reason why he's called the exterminator plus it would be a great way to explore other war heroes in the DC universe such as I think it's Sergeant Rock. Um, I could be complete on that, but it was actually one that um, Bruce Campbell worked on, and I think that would be a really good idea. Like get these characters all going up against a big bad, and it would probably help take the focus off Batman and give it over to another group. So, already with a decision like this, DC's uh, idea of putting Jim Lee in charge is not a very good one. Um, I'd not take Peter J. Tomasi <laughs> for his job, or better yet, um, Dan Jurgens for his job, and bring in Peter J. Tomasi. At least then we'd get some better stories in relation to Batman and Robin compared to what Joshua Williamson might put out and having Tinny Howard on this project uh, I don't think that's a wise idea and it might actually drive away customers well until then let's keep it colorful and have yourself an awesome day